Hey guys, um, coming up here with a little bit of updates. What's about very happening on this channel? I'm gonna still do the product reviews that we've been I've been doing for quite for the last few months. You've seen the product reviews. I hope you guys are enjoying those. Um, something happened to me last night. I'm, I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. But I am going to talk about you about the what's going to happen soon. I am going to be creating a brand new channel for just the game. I'm going to play probably Pokemon Go on it or some of my mobile apps I got on my on my phone. And I'll be talking through it, and we'll be playing it. That's going to be looking really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It'll be a new gaming channel. Not sure what I'm going to call it yet. I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, watch out for some product reviews that may be updated in there. So check it out. Um, this is not going to be very long of a vlog, but I'm just going to give you little updates about what's going on. Um, some stuff in my life. I've gotten a little bit stronger. I've been weightlifting. I've been working out. I've been playing Pokemon Go. Having fun doing that. Um... About a week ago, my grandpa actually had a stroke, so we've been dealing with that. Been doing working with the house, just trying to get the weed control, you know, the weeds in my mom's house uh, under control. They've really gone haywire. I was gonna work on it this Saturday, but we ended up having the rain. We had it rain. I'm like, oh, so it was really bad. So I couldn't do. I, I raked a little bit. I kind of cleaned up a little bit around the area. Um, it's been really interesting. It's been really good. Some other updates, um, my diabetes seems to be under, get under control. If you guys know, I am diabetic type 2. I've been trying to work on it, trying to eat right and stuff like that, exercise, get things going. Um, but the most recent thing that happened, it, it's really weird what happened. Um, last night, or yesterday, I came home. I, you know, I do my normal routine. I come home. I put my stuff into the house. I have my grandfather's car right now, and I put everything of mine in the house went to go see my grandpa and I went to my grandpa's house and then we went to the uh, rehabilitation because he's in rehab right now um so I went to go see him I I spent some time at my, my grandparents house after, after that and we talked me and my mom talked a little bit it was around 12 o'clock when I left my grandparents place came home and I always back my car into my spot because it's during the winter time it's a lot easier to back up your car especially with the cars we have most of my grandparents and myself and my mother has cars that are front wheel drive because we live in Colorado and the front wheel drive vehicle is a lot better in Colorado because of the snow situation you want your power in the front where all the weight is in your car I get home I park I get out of my car and I hear the I hear water running I'm like this is not a sound I want to hear because we know our air conditioners have tendency so I'm, I'm always even though I'm not supposed to, I do have a tendency to fidget with the air conditioner because, like I said, I work on two different other houses and I work on their air conditioner, so I know if water is running over, it's because the volt valve is not shutting off in, at the right time. So it ends up shutting off at a different time. So I thought that was it. I, I get my light out, I shine, and it looked like somebody had backed into the air conditioner and crush the thing now it's still working which is weird it's working it's still cooling the apartment down it's no big deal it's actually still pumping water through the system but it is literally crushed like from bottom up and it was pushed in i came in my apartment things were knocked off inside my apartment for it um i had to do a real, real quick push it out a little bit and see what i could do there was nothing i could do it's the air conditioner is gone it's toast um, I just called the management company and told them about what happened, how I just came and it was, I came home and it was like this. It was like 12 o'clock last night and it was like this. I called my mom. My mom's like, oh. I said, it still works. I mean, I'm, my apartment's still nice and cool right now. Um, but it was just weird. It just, they just crushed it. I mean, I don't know. So I'm going to, I called the management company and told them what happened. That way they can come out and they can't fix it. I don't. There's no way they're going to repair that air conditioner. <laughs> they're just going to, have to pull it out and put another one in. Um, don't know how long that's going to take. Hopefully, it takes less than 24 hours, so I don't have to worry about the apartment getting hot. Because I do have my animals. I have my two cats. I don't, you know, I have around. But that's weird, isn't it, guys? Um, I had a really good weekend, and then come home to this. I mean, it wasn't like this at six o'clock in the afternoon when I came home from my mom's house it was like this when I came home from my grandparents house at midnight so between the time I came and then now or between then and my midnight it was destroyed I don't know what the heck happened um I don't know what happened I don't really care at this point I just want it fixed 
and to take care of everything. But that's something crazy, isn't it, guys? I mean, I had a really crazy weekend. I went pokey hunting at midnight at, in Delta, and I literally chased these two people down, and um, I, I kind of followed behind them and took out their gyms as they were t claiming gyms. I was taking them out, and they followed me. They did. The, they looped back around and did the same thing to me. I was having fun. I don't know if they were having I think they were kind of irritated at me, but I was having fun, guys. That's usually what matters. If you're having fun, that's all you guys. That's why I said my things. You're a nerd. Be, you know, do things that you like. It's fun. Um... You know, other things have happened, like it was like my church, my pastor has um, taken a sabbatical for a couple months, and we're going to have guest speakers at our church every week until that's done. The funniest part is that the first um, speaker that we had is actually our pastor's father, who also was a pastor as well, who is his pastor, you know, it was, is, yeah, you decide what is going on, but, um, so yeah, I did that. That was pretty interesting to listen to him preach. Um, what else? Like I said, I've been point counting a couple times. It rained on Saturday. It's like, I mean, pouring rain. It wasn't like took over drizzles. It poured, and and things didn't get dried up. So, yeah. Um, and then this happens when I get home. Your conditioner's crushed. I mean. Uh. Other things that's going on is that it's just a lot of craziness is happening around here. Um, trying to keep things maintained. I'm trying to work hard. I really guys need a vacation. I mean, a real vacation where I just don't go and uh, and work out somewhere. I just go and I just relax. That's what I want. I want a vacation where I just relax. I'm gonna take that in August. At the end of August, I just wanna just I want to chill, man. I just want to chillax. Um, what else? And it's just a lot going on, and I just don't feel, or I don't really, ugh. the problems with this, what's going on right now, especially with my apartment, is that I'm really getting tired of it, I'm getting tired of the stuff that happens outside, I get tired of the people around me, uh, I'm getting tired, like the air conditioner thing, I, that was, that, I mean, I had a, such a good day, I was with my grandpa, I was with my mom, and we did all that stuff, and I come home to this that is just really bad I mean I hate this I hate calling them up to them there's problems with the apartment um, that's why a lot of times you'll see me I'll fix my own own little issues with the apartment um, like my door whistles when the air conditioner is on you don't hear it right now I don't think I hope you guys don't but it whistles and I just put a towel in front that's how I deal with the whistling so I know this is going to be a very short vlog. I'm not going to talk too much now. But. Uh, <laughs> it's just very, very irritating. I I am. I'm getting fed up with this place. It, it ha I'm not sure if it was someone who lived here who ran into it and just didn't say anything. Or it was one of their visitors who did it. Or someone who came in to look at something. I don't know. And also on top of yesterday, I get a message from my father saying. Uh when are you going to be home? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm on my way home. I'm not sure when exactly I'm going to get there. And then I text him, when are you going to come? He's like, I don't know. I'm like, really? So, yeah, I got to get ready for work tonight. I finished eating. I took my meds. And I'm already dressed. See, I got my TARDIS shirt on. Um, but, yeah, hopefully I get this vlog up and you'll... S I'll get more daily vlogs back in. I'll try I'm going to try to do daily vlogs. I'm not going to guarantee it. Maybe weekly vlogs. In between the product review stuff, hope you guys like it. Another thing, look for that new, look for the announcement for the new um, gaming channel, and everything's been great. You guys have a wonderful day. Remember, you're definitely beautiful. You're necessary to this world. If you're a nerd, be a nerd. If you're a geek, be a geek. Be proud of who you are. You're one of a kind, always. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.